Welcome, everyone, to the Real Whovians cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I am with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. All right, guys. So this is our Doctor Who podcast. We do it all the time. Uh, and, of course, what's in the news is chaos and Cardiff. This is what everybody's been talking about for almost a week. Um, and this is still going on because the BBC... No word. Yeah, the BBC have not confirmed that it's not. Yeah. I just feel... Well, how do you feel? I think it's asinine. It's, it's laziness on their part for not coming out. Without these coming out and say, okay, we'll come out, we're coming out here shortly to tell you what's going on. And the fact that they refuse to do that, it's like they're purposely allowing the rumor mill to run rapid, or they were the ones that actually leaked this information. Right. Now, we've covered... Every type of news there is for like eight years, we've been doing this on YouTube. Yeah. We've covered everything. We've made speculation. We've made guesses. A lot of the times that we said, well, we're so good at it that what we say comes true because we figure stuff out. It's like they're trying to shoot for plausible deniability here and there. And, and also, when I made these videos, and again, it's great to make videos about Doctor Who. Yeah. Because there's something to talk about. I just wish that we could do it in a pleasant manner where we could say, wow, great job, Jody Whitaker. Yeah. That awesome episode. Job. We love, the, we love the, uh, the episode. I love that episode. Yeah, that you right. I love that episode of the Cybermen and the Mary Shelley. You know, you know, like that was friggin' out of the park, man. I would love you, to do you those. You thought of a different twist on it that wasn't used before. Right. But I would love to do those videos. But that's not the case all the time. Because there are times that we just can't stand the episode. It's terrible. The writing is just from newbie writers that don't know what they're doing sci-fi. While we have a knowledge of like 45 or 48 years, right, of, yeah. of sci-fi, and then you get somebody that has no idea about sci-fi doing a sci-fi thing. So I'm in a position where <clears throat> I've reached out to some of my sources. Because I, and I've reached out to people I haven't talked to in ages of sources. Because I really want to know, what is the mindset of the BBC? I want to know why they are letting other people do their work for them, and they're not coming out and saying the truth. Are they actually, are they trying to find somebody to fill that? Uh, did the right? It sounds to me as though maybe the writers even left if they haven't come back. Well, this here's the thing: we did get today. A video on Bradley Walsh's Instagram. Bradley Walsh was singing a song. Um, I forgot what it was, the song. And he was saying that he's on his way to South Wales to film Doctor Who. Now, of course, only see Bradley Walsh. We didn't see any pictures today of Jody or anything. And it's probably just his part. Maybe. Too. Might be, because they said because I saw a little documentary on one of the uh, uh, about uh, the second uh, Doctor once. This is pretty much it was about it was around the time of the faceless ones and that. And they said uh, a lot of times when other people are a lot of the other cast members are doing their what the hell? Oh, okay, something just died. Right. So yeah. it's something just real weird, but uh, yeah, no. While everybody else is speaking, at it's like doing their lines in one place. A lot of the other cast members are doing their sh doing the sight uh, shots, and vice versa. So they're not so, next necessarily next to them when they're doing the lines. Yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering if that was the case. They needed uh, that Walsh went to do that, and while everybody else is that, I mean, yeah, the, this plausible deniability stuff is getting old for me. I mean, they, like we we've heard. You could just go out there and say it. Like, Chris Chibnall can say something. Jody can yeah. say something. They're not. Um, and, again, if she was asked to come back to finish this filming, that doesn't prove anything either because no. maybe she is going to fi finish the season and that's going to be it. Yeah. But do we need to wait four months like last time to confirm that that was actually true, that they, they almost quit both of them? Like, what is... 
I, I think that they're afraid. I think that the BBC are afraid of the ramifications of admitting that this happened. This is their first female, and th and this would pretty much prove to everybody that okay, they may have screwed up in having a female doctor. Well, that's see, that's what you say. I I understand you're you're talking about that. I know. I'm just no. I'm, I'm just. Uh, I'm talking about. I'm anybody. talking. I'm, when I'm, I, when I'm I, talking about, about anybody. If I'm gonna, I'm afraid if they, to do that because this to prove that. Granted, their la their season eleven tanked. And well, I mean, see, well, my opinion is of that. Filled with the female doctors, they want everybody to believe. See, I am. I don't think it's her fault, though. I don't. I don't either. I don't. I, I, I honestly, honestly think it's. it's I either. honestly think it's the writing. I'm sorry. I I don't think it's her fault. I don't think that she sucks as a doctor. I want to see her a couple more years. I I just want her to see her act on the writing of like a Neil Gaiman or Mark Gatiss or somebody experienced that's a writer and give us her best work. Mm -hmm. You can't give us your best work if the person doesn't even know what how to write sci-fi and they're doing a story that you gotta act on. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm just, I mean, if she said anything what Chibnall would say anything, would they get in serious trouble? I don't think they should. I mean, if they would just come out saying, we'll give you an answer soon. That's all anybody wants. I mean, they're not going to do that. Any, so they can cut down with these rumors. They're and not going to still, do that. I'm still wondering if uh, uh, something came about the about the last uh, that she probably was upset or angered over how she was portrayed in last season. Chibnall came to his uh, came to the BBC and said, "Listen, things are going to change. Otherwise, I'm walking." I don't think it was him that said things are going to change. I think he was ordered. And they would. They told him, "No, you're bringing back classic monsters." I don't think this was his idea. I think they said to him, "Hey, listen, you're going to do this, or that's it, mm -hmm. because we need a change." And maybe he did do scrawny shit in in the se this season coming up because he's angry. I don't know. Moffat did stuff subconsciously yeah. that he put in the episodes that you could tell he was mad, like. He totally turned Clara into a piece of garbage character. Yeah, because she decided was to stay on after she said she was going to leave. He was mad at her that she she was going to leave and she changed her mind that he had to rip up the scripts. He was kind of pissed off. So he subconsciously put stuff on the script, mm -hmm. like wrecking things for her. So, like, my thing is, oh, God, like, what? Wh you know how bad this is going to get if they don't say anything? It is. For like months. I mean. I'm not going to say. It's not going to take. It, they're probably going to wait. Wait a week to two weeks. And then finally come out and say. Here's what we've done. And this is the plan. And this, and here's the thing. And again. I can't stress this enough. For a company like the BBC. To hardly promote the 50th anniversary. To the very oh end. Oh god that was stupid. But Now. They welcome any article there is about an anniversary that's four years away. Mm -hmm. They're trying to distract us. It is, it is definitely a distraction. I, when I saw that, I thought, that's a distraction. What are you trying to do? And, I, and no sooner, no sooner did I saw that, that's when the whole Cardiff BS came out. And you throw David Tennant in there talking, I would love to come back as a doctor. And mm -hmm. I think that Chris Beckerson may come back. And it's like... People are talking about that instead of Chaos and Carter. Yeah. People this is a like distraction. they them releasing the war Valyard, like I guess it's like four days early. Four days early, possibly. That's a distraction. John Barrowman, like talking about a Torchwood movie that where the hell that's a distraction. And 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 these toys, wow, you really like that's a distraction. So like which tells me Jody and Chibnall are out. The twelfth season is the final one, and she's gonna film, she's gonna film a thing that's gonna be over. She's gonna film something. Granted, yeah, she's gonna. They're gonna honor their contract and go till uh, New Year's or whatever, and then mm -hmm. it's gonna be off for maybe a month to a year. They're gonna have their. They're gonna find their new people. They'll maybe even have to find new writers on top of that, right. and. Everybody's going to, like you said, they're going to write it in such a manner where we, we don't technically forget about Whitaker, but they, 
pretty much make her seem like a shadow. Now, I, I spoke to a few people today. And I spoke to a few people in the BBC today. And I'm going to say, <laughs> it's like politician, right? It's like, you know when they don't want to tell you? But yet. But, but, but wait, it. but wait. But then they know you do podcasts. And they give you something you didn't have before. And you're, you're like, oh, wait a minute. 60th? Wait, what? Recasting Roger Delgado? Wait, what? So, see, here's the thing. Uh -huh. They got what they want because they just, just momentarily distracted me. Because I'm like, oh, my God. Like, Christopher Eccleston is coming back. Oh, my God. It's going to be probably 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Mm -hmm. And multi-masters because you're going to go out with a bang if that's the last Doctor Who thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm like – like, That's I'm, where the whole male thing was probably coming wait, out in the first place. So I'm like my giddy aunt because I'm like eyes lighting up. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Video, video, video. I'm like, you know, and, and people know you. They know us. They know me for eight years. You just gave me, like, you know, the freaking holy crumb. grail from. You gave me a crumb, but nonetheless. No, you just gave me, like, the holy grail from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I took a sip. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you know, and I even I caught myself while I'm doing the video about distraction. And I'm like, see? They got me for, like, three minutes or two minutes or whatever. I'm excited talking about, because here's the thing, and this is true. It's commissioned till 2023. Uh -huh. Didn't change yet. The last Doctor Who story, as of right now, until they change that date, the last Doctor Who story is the 60th anniversary special. That is the last possible thing that is going to be filmed to air in 2023 november right that's the last possible thing that can be filmed you're not going to film anything else after that because that's going to come out in november your commission until november so you have to film it in 2022 and it comes out 2023 no filming takes place in 2023 right so, and they're definitely not going to have a season. They're definitely not going to have a You know they're not going to have a season. Oh, no, hell no. And the anniversary. Either, look what they did. Look what they did either, last time. They'll either wait till that special or they'll give you two or three episodes. Right. They gave us two that time, right? Whatever they gave us. Yeah. There's no way you're having a season in 2023. So that's out. So the only thing you could possibly have is Series 12, Series 13, in between year break to whatever, and a 60th anniversary Christmas special, well, 60th anniversary special in November on the date, right? Mm -hmm. So that is the, and again, I dub it, yeah, because right now, as of right now, it is August 13th, 2019. Here it is 11.01 p.m., right? As of right now, Doctor Who is not getting commissioned past 2023. That means... As of right now, because I want to make a stress. Oh, this because you know, another thing that could happen, another thing could happen, that HBO Max could then step in and go, here, we'll be your savior. We'll take Doctor Who. But at the same time, with this commission thing no longer going about, you're going to have to change your doctor. Well, well you talked about that too already. Now, yeah. when does HBO Max officially start? That's true. Because that's not going to start until 2020, basically, right? Mm -hmm. But we're still. Gonna, we're going to find that out. We're going to find that I out. Know, but but still, so there's, here's the thing. there's their chance of going, here's your, here's your Doctor Who back. Keep in mind also, let's just say you're the BBC. You know that unless Chibnall changes, turns it around, 
The last thing is the 16th anniversary. Mm-hmm. You are going to put all your eggs in the final story ever. Mm-hmm. You're going to have doctors. You're going to have masters. You're going to have Daleks. You're going to have Gallifrey. You're going to have everything, right? Everything. Everything. Because this may be the final Doctor Who story ever. And it will probably end where she regenerates. If, 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 if she doesn't regenerate already. Yeah. Okay, because I'm going to stress that right now. I don't know if she's going to be film if, she, if she's going to be filming a Christmas special for 2020, right? Then we're adding a doctor. We're adding the 14th doctor with her in the next. And then, but the web, whatever way possible, a doctor will regenerate in the 60th and not probably not be shown because it will be canceled possible. Mm-hmm. Um, like you said. Yeah, they'll, think, they'll leave it off with them I just regenerating. You know what Scott said, that the doctor's going to regenerate and you don't see it. Yep. So they all they have to do is years later, they could just add the person in. They could that's show that. Right. Step, they could that's add it right. in. It comes back 10 years later. That's it. That's right. And because it's time travel, the doctor could travel through time to the current day 10 years later or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I think Scott's right about that. I think he's got. But you know what I would do any fur- further? And we're distracted because we're not talking about kids and Carter right now. It all revolves around the value of Yeah. All Roswell's Valyard, Omega, whatever. And it would have to be that big of a threat, that big of a thing. Mm-hmm. And and by the end of it, you see that maybe the Valyard, listen to this, the Valyard regenerates into the Watcher because the Watcher technically, technically was the last incarnation of the Doctor. So it would have to come from the Valyard if the Valyard is the Doctor because the Master is decrepit in his last form and the yep. Doctor is a- angelistic like the Watcher in his last form. And the Watcher thinks the Doctor loses and the Watcher goes back in time to regenerate into himself the fifth and then the timeline changes and then we see a little bit of a glitch because something's different now, and then we have a, di- a different thing. Like, time has changed a little bit. Uh-huh. Semi a little bit, because, again, the doctor's regenerating into himself, right? I know we're, 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 we're dry- giving you a headache with stuff. But from my point of view is the Watcher is the last incarnation of the doctor. Valyard's before him. It could be a little, you know, just like Colin Baker choked Perry. Something mm-hmm. went wrong with the regeneration. He to- turned full-blown blo- evil. And then he's given another regeneration that will reset everything and he'll be good. And I think, you know, then we'll have a different timeline. Like it's same timeline, meaning, but the watcher goes back and yeah. the watcher just, all the watcher had to do was regenerate into himself and it kind of change things. So, um, but I, I, if you know, it's going to be the final doctor story, you're going to throw everything at us. And again, I heard from someone else the other day, that knowing that this would be the last story, Russell T. Davis and Moffat will return for it to write it. Of course. Both, both of them. Because again, I understand you don't go back to a job, but there's not going to be a job to go back to, so it's going to be gone. So you're going to just be the last story to write. Um, but here's the thing that's your perfect chance of having a two parter. Keep in mind, every time Russell T. Davis did a season, the commission date always got extended past. Yep. And and at, at one point in time, Moffin had it so good with Russ, like, we are like, oh, Doctor's going to be around for 10 years. This is fantastic. It's doing great. They didn't have to worry because they always proved themselves. Yep, they always did. Even if you were bashing them, they got they the always show. Ca- they always came through. They got the show to be extended to 2023. Well, no, no, no. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, they did get the show extended to basically 2023 well well i was actually 20 no it was actually 2022 i believe and then because like chimno came in they had to deal with china it got extended to 2023 mm-hmm. it only got extended a year because it was a china thing right 
didn't get extended past that. But Chimno didn't do it, though. It was technically the BBC. Yeah. Got a contract. Chimno promised to have a doctor who every year, which he broke his promise. He did. I mean, which is why we have lawsuits right now with, with people trying to sue BBC because they say, you promised us Doctor Who season every year and you didn't. Uh -huh. And this is a problem. That is that's that's a problem, um, and and of course, as a company, you want to fire the person that just made that deal, that that promised stuff you can't keep, and and why can't you do it? Why can't why can't you have why somebody? Can, why else? do you have to take a year off instead yeah. of taking you know, instead of taking let's say a month or two months off? And you could have, as the showrunner, say, "Look, guys, I'm running into trouble. So what I'm going to do is." The doctor's going to get sick, and we're going to do a whole season with Paul McGann, and somebody else is going to do it, and I'm going to oversee it. Just do it. 12 episodes, Paul McGann, and then he comes back, he helps the doctor. It's a multi-doctor story. Whatever, right? Because, again, when, when it comes to Doctor Who, there are no rules. So don't make it like you can only be about the current doctor. You could change no, it. it doesn't. You could start doing a whole season of Paul McGann. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Right? She could be sick and, and, and whatever, and then you come back and, you know, Paul McGinn helps her because harm's messed up or something, right? You could do a thing she degenerates and she becomes like a past incarnation. Yeah. And she has to fix it, right? You could do anything, Tom. You could do anything. I don't remember if it was the Marvel. No, no, it wasn't the Marvel reprints. I had found – it was an old Doctor Who monthly that I had gotten from, yeah. I think, it was Starbase 21. It was just, this was before I actually became subscribed to him. And there was a storyline in there. I forget which doctor it was off the top of my head, but he regenerates back into, I believe, his first self. Right. And so, then, I mean, we know he could do that, though. In, in the future, we're told yeah. that he could revisit faces because he gets so good at regeneration. He could be David Tennant again. He could be Matt Smith again. He could be the fourth doctor, Tom Baker again, which he has, which is a curator. Yeah. But we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that curator, yeah. So you can do anything you want. And if and if Doctor Who is going to die, and you're going to, if the show is going to fail, and you are going to break contracts, you as a showrunner lose your ego. Say, Mark Gatiss, do me a favor. You know what? BBC make a deal with him. Give him a season, and just do Paul again, mm -hmm. while I work on our season, so that way we're not behind a year. So in other words, makes sense. That's, 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 that's the most logical way of doing it. Or you do the proposed David Tennant and Matt Smith season together yeah. where they, they said, hey, let's oh, both of us be together like we're each other's companion and stuff, doing stuff together. And at the like, time, quabbling about, you're my companion. No, you're my companion. Right, like whatever. Yeah. Right. So that's the point. Right. It's, that, it's like have fun with it and, and let somebody else manage. Yeah. Let somebody else do episodes and and, and – and create an assistant showrunner or whatever. Look at on on Sherlock, right? On Sherlock, it was Stephen Moffat and Mark Gates on Sherlock. Mm -hmm. Both of them, two showrunners, right? Whether it be Stephen Moffat more, whatever, both of them, right? You are, and they only had three episodes, and they had two showrunners. This show was fantastic. It, I every episode to me was ten out of ten, with the exception of that one Christmas special. That they never had a Christmas special of Sherlock, and I'm like, what the hell is this? I was not happy with that at all. Not happy with it at all. But perfect, right? So get somebody to do a whole season where with another doctor, and and you know, I even proposed a damn story for crying out loud. You could have someone take over Gallifrey, and they basically like, I guess. That the high council's on trial instead of the doctor. Yeah. And they recognize that Clara Oswald is the one that saved, you know, Gallifrey, that made the doctor do this. They have a statue of her and everything. Uh -huh. And at the end of the trial, the doctor is given a gift to, in every incarnation, to right a wrong that was done to him. Like, and, and the perfect example is, what would David Tennant do? David Tennant would restore the memories of Donna Noble and Sabre, mm -hmm. right? What would Matt Smith do? Matt Smith would save the pawns, right? What would 
Colin Baker's six doctor do? He would save Perry, or he would whatever with Perry, right? Yeah. What would Peter Davison do? He probably would save Adric, right? Or whatever, right? Yeah. Different things. And and second doctor restore the memory of his pet. You know, it's like he did. He already did though, actually. Yeah. But like that's what you would do, you know? And and it would be you, you could do a season without focusing on the main doctor. Like the new doctor. You could and go I'll back call it like uh missing adventures or something like that. Like they I mean the you books. could just you could go you could do I mean I don't know what you could call it, but it's Doctor Who. It's gonna be a Doctor Who yeah. season. Like season series thirteen or fourteen, right? And 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 besides like them having the one episode or a two episode story arc, so you probably have a two part thing yeah. with the pods, right? You have a little fun with it, and and oh, yeah. and, and have Matt Smith go off on a vacation like they do the Craig episode, where we're supposed to find the sea devils, and he's he's in a snorkel and stuff, right, in the water. And the sea devils are coming behind him with guns and he's freaking out, right? Do a couple episodes with Matt Smith. Do a couple episodes with David Tennant where he encounters River again, right? That Missy encounters the ponds and messes with them, right? I mean, that would be perfect. You could, you could reveal that the Doctor wrecked her TARDIS because that was the red thing in 11th yeah. hour by accident. Like, because he didn't know. And it was like, and the thing, but she couldn't travel. You know, messed it up. Like you could do, you could say the Dream Lord. You could do a thing with Dream Lord. Get Toby yes. Jones in it. Which he, I still master. think to this day they missed out master. big time with Journey to the Center of the TARDIS by not using him. Well, that's to another day, thing. I think they should have used him for the uh, for that one. See, here's the thing about that. To this day, that episode, even though it was undone, right? Which I hate the reset button. They said he traveled to the future when she died. They said he traveled to the future when she died. He went and saw her die. So are they talking about Face the Raven and then he did something with his memory where he can't remember it? Possibly. Because there was zombie Clarus. Those were zombie yeah. Clarus. Remember that? So did he save her like after she died from the Raven and, and Capaldi's doctor don't remember it? We don't know. And that could be a thing too. Mm -hmm. He was not going to let her die. That's a whole thing. So would he go against the laws of time, protect her? But anyway, we, we, again, we, we got totally off the subject. But Doctor is going to part of thing. Yeah, it's. But yeah, see, if they don't, if they don't come out, if they don't come out and say something by Friday, Friday at the least, listen, you know that it's one hundred percent true. Gave, they give you an information, and I ran with it, and I'm like, holy shit! And then, of course, we're making videos on it. Of course, I'm talking about. Oh my god, they're going to recast. Roger Delgado and like holy crap! What they I want that man. Was, I mean, this this is what I came up with. Uh, if they ever thought of doing uh, off adventures with uh, with the third Doctor and him, get John O'Hurley as the third Doctor, and possibly George Clooney as uh, Delgado's Doctor. You know what I would do with Jody if Jody had to regenerate. Right? Yeah. Purposely, I would make David Morrissey be the doctor. Because he was the next, and you put it in your head, maybe that was true that the Cybermen weren't wrong. But yeah. they just got the person wrong because they took the form of the next doctor, which never was a doctor. David Morrissey is, Jodie Whittaker regenerates into David Morrissey. And, and David Morrissey's doctor is like, oh, I'm going to wear the same outfit that, that he wore as the next doctor. Oh, maybe, okay. And maybe change it up a little. Remember the next doctor, David Morris, yeah. was commoner. Yeah. But he was a doc he was like the guy that had the memories of the doctor, right? Take the form. Take the form and be the next, you know. That would be cool because people like people what know. I, like I said, this is what I also suggested. We have a doctor from an alternate timeline somehow falls into ours. Right. And while the cat, while the main cast is trying, while they're while helping them trying to figure out the de who's trying to kill this uh, this one alien race, uh, some sort of temporal wave that brought, which turns out to bring this thirteenth Doctor over to our side, sweeps through again, and near the end, takes her, uh, Yaz, and Ryan. 
leaving, leaving, sadly leaving Graham behind. And in order to keep him from going totally eight, he even though it's even though it's not mentioned, but have it set up as though that maybe the am I, I'm going to use it this way. Maybe he has he has the MIBs pretty much uh, normalize him into thinking that his do- oh. that his doctor had gone to deal with a matter with some sort of psionic pirate that if humans were anywhere in proximity, it would pretty much mush up their brains. It would. They're totally different. They would have the rights to live in a block. I know. No, I'm not, I'm not saying am I, them being exactly right. MIDs, but some just something in that similar style. Right. Something in that similar style. I mean, but, uh, could but you then, have David Tennant's Metacrisis doctor get? Because I technically think that Donna Noble's ring has a regeneration in there. Because uh-huh. I don't, I don't, unless the face was changed, I don't think that it was lost. I, and she still had regeneration of energy in the end of time. Uh-huh. So I think. If David Tennant's Metacrisis doctor is going to die, he get he restores Donna Noble, he takes the energy out of her, and he regenerates into a bearded Matt Smith, a different Matt Smith, yeah, like a little darker maybe, because he's got but that. The, but the last half, what I do is, is uh, like I said, he would get convinced that his doctor had go, had to go off to deal with this sort of the psionic pirate, but the Yaz and Ryan that he knows are actually Zygons impersonating those two individuals. But nonetheless, you know, his, but nonetheless, his doctor, Graham's doctor, Yaz and uh, Ryan get shifted into <laughs> so, to another dimension. And even right. though the person who was doing the killings of this one race was not, from the doctors, this alternate doctors universe, they too mysteriously disappear as well. Well, like I was saying, Matt Smith regenerating to like you know the Metacrisis doctor regenerating to a Matt Smith with beard. I would have it where he's the va- like he's the Valyard, like he, if that whatever like he's evil, and and you could see him in his mannerisms mm-hmm. where like maybe a companion will look at him like. And I'll give this look like this menacing look like when Rose goes to leave with him, like she's going to be in trouble. Like something's like bad. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. leave off like a cliffhanger where they go back to the universe, but he's evil now. Like that, that something with the regeneration, he's evil. Like, and he I has like suggested back- after Clara's departure that she was actually in reality, a, a, a cloister race. Well, she's but this version that we and can that's why things didn't work the way they did. She's gotta, she be the, she's gotta be in the she's gotta be in the she's gotta be in that with Danny Pink is because if that kid from the war soul was taken from the explosion and going into that device like Danny Pink is, Clara probably in there. Like mm-hmm. she's dead, her body's dead, she's in there. But what did they say in the under the lake before the flood? That that thing creates new bodies for you. That's right. As long as you know how to work. And so Clara could create a new body. Danny Pink could get a new body. They're out of there and you don't even know it. So. But the again. It's not in a, a way too. Right. So. And we're distracted. Because ultimately getting a piece of information. You're talking about that information. Instead of talking about at hand. Yeah. Chaos and Cardiff. Chaos and Cardiff. We want to know what's happening. You and know. Like I said. If we don't hear anything by Friday. I mean, even even if it's something like we're going to give you information coming soon, hold off. If they don't do that, then all this speculation of him being out in the outs, she had to come back and do a reshoot for a regeneration scene is 100% factual. But like I said, right now, this is just rumor. But if they don't want this rumor to be uh, proven right, then they need to come out and say either this is what happened or we're giving you information here shortly, please. Hold well, on. I mean, let me say something else. Isn't it odd? We we found out about the June thing that the BBC told us a long time ago, right? Isn't it odd that it's October, and you would possibly do a reshoot of an episode that was from a block before? Because that doesn't really get done. I, I last week they had the June, so that's got to be a different episode. That can't yeah. be the episode they did. That's got to be the finale. They got to come back in the finale. That can't yeah. be 
an episode. When you're done with a block, you're done with the block. You don't go back and you reshoot that block. The block is done. They say block is done, right? That from last week, the the um the the Jadoon in the streets. That's got to be a different episode. That's got to be a finale. That can't be the same one because they. When was that? March? Or, or I forget when we got the picture. I think February it was, or March. It was February, right? You're not doing the same episode. That's a finale. Did you do it in the finale? Okay. So I, I don't know why they, they, they throw a thing. Oh, we sh- no, they lie. There is no reshoot. That's which a finale. Means the, which means the trouble happened then. But they, they're just lying constantly because they don't want you to know what's in the finale. Yeah. Just like they don't no, want- the fact that they released that stuff then, it tells me that's when the trouble first manifested. And so, so if it manifested then, then that means uh, February well, or out. March to now, they've I been trying to fix it or cover it up. I figured it out. I figured it out. That's the last episode that they were filming last week. One more to go. One more episode. The Christmas special regeneration. So, companions film their parts, whatever. She's gonna. She's doing it reluctantly, probably. But they're probably still film, finishing the finale, technically, right? Mm-hmm. September, because they said something about we might get an announcement in September. They'll start at the end of August doing the Christmas special that we're hearing about, a mystery secret, it's supposed to be secret Christmas special which she regenerates, right? Once the thing is done, like when she is, like hangs up her scarf or whatever the hell you want to call it, or hangs up her scarf and screwdriver, when she's done, right? You're done, right? When there's nothing to be filmed anymore, because here's the thing, you don't want to piss her off where she doesn't finish, right? When she finishes everything that has to be filmed, period, when Series 12 is officially done and a special or two are done, BBC will make an announcement in September that they won't even tell you. They'll say, Jodie Whittaker, they're not going to tell you about Chibnall. They're going to be like, Jodie Whittaker is leaving Doctor Who. So what this is, is this is a half, this is a half, half distraction. Because everybody will be brainwashed to be like, who's the next doctor? No one's going to talk about Chibnall. No one. Because no. you want it. But he's fired. Listen. And then they will they will just, they're not going to say boo about Chibnall. And they're going to drag it out to the next year. And they'll tell you at some point in time in 2020 that Chibnall was gone. Okay, because you're going to first say, yeah, he went on a hiatus just to resolve a matter. No, and he's gone. No, they, I, they, no, I think that, no, I think they will. They will at least grant people this like little white lie about. Yeah. The reason why you haven't seen Chibnall is because he had a personal matter that he had to go deal with. I don't know if they would do that. Really he came back temporarily to help with X, Y, Z episodes. Gonna, this is what's going to happen. They're going to put a New Year's Day special. January 1st, 2020. Then they're going to delay Series 12 even more until August, probably, of 2020. And it's going to be done filming by November. It's going to be done airing by November. And then you're going to have a Christmas special where she regenerates. While this is happening, they're filming with a new doctor already, a new showrunner, new everything. You have no idea who they are. And then after Christmas, they will say, like, well, before Christmas, probably in November, you'll find out who the next doctor is. November 2020, probably, or whatever. But this, the new doctor's already been filming already, you know? That's the only thing I can think of, because, again, you and then they'll say to whoever is, like I've said this many videos, whoever, like, with this lawsuit that they got to have a season every year, look, we were going to give you an extra year. We're sorry about this. We're going to honor five years of Doctor Who. We're going to give you an extra year. We're going to give you a season. It's going to be Series 12 in 2020, Series 13 in 2021, Series you know, 14 in 2022, and, and, and Series 15, 2023, whatever. 
So we give you the year plus the four, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but keep in mind that there will be a season that will probably be a, se a season of specials. Yeah. You're not going to get – you're not yeah, – that's, that's, I knew – and it will be the 2023 one, or at least one leading up. Right, because you're going to have the 60th anniversary. So you're going to have less – Doctor Who during the 60th anniversary. Because they'll be filming for the for that special. So right, it's going to take off take three episodes. Off the, so they want to leave with the with the yeah. grand uh, huzzah. That's why there's going to be have seven maybe, episodes. I'm going to say four or five episodes, and there's going to be yeah. those will you have seven episodes and three every other month. Seven yeah. episodes and then a Christmas and seven episodes and then and then an anniversary special. Mm -hmm. Because the, the you know because the, the technically the special will be three episode length. So it'll be three episodes. And there's your ten. Mm -hmm. So again, we, we 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 think about this like so deep. It's like ridiculous. Um, there's no way that again you're gonna have short seasons. There's n there's not not happening. Um, but like that HBO thing, that is interesting though. I mean, I still I, think I'm not that's really sure how that factors leading up to is the fact that. Since they didn't get recommissioned, HBO I don't Max think that I don't in. think HBO They're Max the ones wants that save Doc, that can say they can they save Doctor Who. I don't think HBO Max wants her. No, no I don't think why, so. I really don't think so. Say, if we're going to take Doctor Who off your hands, you're going to give us a new Doctor. They're going to give it's you. Not, it's not going to be a woman. I mean, well, it's not going to be a woman because of what happened with Chibnall. Look, they're going to. We'll get a woman Doctor eventually, but. They're, they're going to give a well-known mm -hmm. actor the role yeah. of the 14 Doctors. Someone that is a fan favorite. People, And it's not going to be someone we've had already. It's going to be somebody new. People are going to lose their shit. And it's be, oh, this is great. HBO Max. The Doctor star and David Morrissey. You know what would be funny as hell? I just thought about something. Well, they, they could do Michael, they, they, they could, do, they could pull it on one of two series. Either Game of Thrones or... One of the Walking Dead series. What do you mean? Get people from there? Get get a doctor from get somebody to play a doctor from uh, one of those two. I see them doing more from Game of Thrones than uh, Walking Dead. So I mean, because look look through the cast members of uh, Game of Thrones and see who who's roughly between Britain. Uh, between well, the, you know they're going to get somebody young, though. They're not going to. They're not. No, gonna, yeah, I know. They're going to get somebody young. They're going to get somebody within somebody 20, young. Thirties. I'm going to say at least thirties. The uh, the is the highest they'll go. I I, don't, I think they're going to go into twenties, dude. I think they're looking at the the, dip, the demographics. They want a they want a young doctor. They want to capture that whole romance thing and this and that. It's going to be crazy. The girl from Earth is is young and and then oh my God, running away with this boy. It's, you know. It, they, they, they're going to do that. You know they're going to do that. That's what they're going to do. Yeah, I hope they don't because that'll, sadly, that'll get old real quick too. And well, if they do it right. Now know. they could always get somebody who regenerates into a five-year-old. No, we'll never do that. <laughs> never do that. You would never make the doctor a child. <clears throat> no, you wouldn't. Somebody on that cast wanted that. I know. Why do you I think I want that? Up? I know. I know. I know. I, I don't know why. I mean, look, I'm not bad mouthing, and people have their opinions. Not you know, but I never, never work. They could have easily, if they did do it, they could have made it seem as though uh, in uh, in Time Lord Phil's uh, stuff, there a five year old is the equivalency of of a twenty or thirty year old actually in mentality. <clears throat> but yeah, well, that would never. Just keep in mind when you when you're thinking about KS and Carter, HBO Max has a part to play mm -hmm. because they have influence to get a new doctor. As much as you don't want to think that, this is corporate America. Right, I mean, I heard Doctor Who and corporate HBO Europe, Max, whatever you want to call it, get replaced. Worldwide corporate thing. They they, yeah. they they give you money. They want something in return. The person who gives who controls the purse strings controls. You know, the, the doctor has been taking money from people lately, millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. What is China going to get out of it? An Asian companion? I still, I I'm know. still surprised we never saw a uh, an Asian companion. We might, though. HBO Max. It might be, 
may, might be a male doctor, an Asian companion. We might. We might. Yeah, it, it, it's a possibility. Or, or an Asian uh, doctor. Ronnie or something. Or, or, oh, yeah, there you go, an Asian Ronnie. Asian villain. You know who I always thought could have been played the played the Ronnie real good. Uh, I know she's not from uh, from uh, the UK, but uh, Jacqueline Smith that she would have been. A, oh, the Charlie's Angels. Yeah, I loved her back in the day. Yeah, she was great. Um, so yeah, we just we went all over the place on this guest. Sorry, guys, but this is what happens when you get distracted, right? So don't get distracted. Um, you know, like I've been saying, look ahead, if you don't hear a word by Friday, then what we've been saying is true, and all and all this headache began yeah. uh, back when they first started doing that Jadoon thing, or in the midst of the Jadoon thing. Listen, we we uh, we do so many thousands of casts. I have notebooks here. We plan. We 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 think about everything. HBO Max, their influence, China influence. Mm -hmm. Where's Chibnall's head? Where's Jody's head? What is BBC doing? Chibnall's uh, head's going to be on a block. I'm just saying, like, we think about every... We, we go mm -hmm. deep. I mean, even when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking in my head, what the hell are they going to do tomorrow? What the hell is going to happen? How is this going to be? You know, because I, I... I have been watching Doctor Who since I was a child. I was I can't imagine. when I started watching. I can't... You have to understand, like... I eat, I drink, I sleep. It's Doctor Who is part of that. It part, Doctor Who is like a part of my body, like my own arm. So I can't imagine, right, I can't imagine being without Doctor Who, period. And I, I remember being without Doctor Who. And I remember. Oh, God, too. And honestly, I was young. You were young. I was young. And I was into other stuff as well. And I started, this kid here got in, in Back to the Future magazine. Like a whole whole thing in it, I wrote in it. That age, I'm very, I think about it now, I'm like, wow, how did I do that, right? <laughs> I didn't get anything now. I can't even get like a, a thing written in a magazine. But when I was younger, I had a whole damn thing, the existence of Marty McFly too. So like, I was in Marvel Comics, last page, I was this, this, this. And it's like, you know, I was a geek into everything, Star Trek 3s. So, of course, you have to understand, if Doctor Who is not here, something else is going to take that vacuum. Boy. Like, again, it reminds me of Next Generation in 87, right? Like, we, we, like we'll have Doctor Who ending, but then you got Picard, and you got Quentin Tarantino, Star Trek, and you got all these things different happening. Yeah. So, I don't want to be without Doctor Who. But if, we're, if, if it gets canceled, I want it to come back. Like, I want, you know, even if, even if down the road, after I'm done writing my books, right, which I'm up to 13 right now. Isn't that weird, right? 13? Yes. I'm up to the 13th book, right? My book that I publish. I write books. I publish books. They're in bookstores, right? At some point in time, I would love to be involved enough to go write for that. Oh, I would love to be involved with Doctor Who as well. I mean, I don't care if it's when I'm good a enough. Companion, if it's a villain, if they decide to come back with like the do a Peter Cushing version, which I still think they should do. Right. Uh, but uh, I I know I'll never become the Doctor because I'm not from the UK, and to me, that's how it should be. Even now. Even now, I want to get the 13th book out now because I want to have the 14th book out when they have the 14th doctor. <laughs> Not that it's related, but it's, it's been falling that place that way. It's been, right? Capaldi yes. had my 12th book, and Jody would be my 13th, right? So yeah. it, would be, it would be interesting. I'm trying to get them out faster like I used to, but things have changed. But whatever. Again, they're not connected to Doctor Who, although there is time travel in my books but anyway that's we have we have nemesis with their balance anyway um it's poetry it's side fights mixed all over. anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed this real whole beams cast and again we have doctor pages on facebook right we have yep. tardis travelers doctor who forever fight for who say no to the bbc for cutting back doctor who doctor who universe the doctor's who universe 
right? Yep. We have the Real Beans Cast Interactive. We have Matrix Lord 212, right? Yep. And shame on me if I forgot. Oh, we have Who Idol, which we don't do that really. But, but like, we used to do a thing called Singing Doctor Who, whatever. Mm -hmm. Doctor Who lyrics, right? Uh, we have Matrix Lord 212 on YouTube. Matrix Lord 212 on Tumblr. Ma um, uh, Scott's Blind Dyslexic. I'm sorry, Scott. Uh, what's this? You sent me. Something, I, uh, something I created about a few hours ago. You can look at it. Oh, later. I saw that. I saw the crisis. I saw that, yes. But this is a real means cast podcast. All yeah, right. I know. So, so like, do, uh, Scott Scott is Blind Dyslexic. That's his nickname, yep. Blind Dyslexic on Matrix Lord 2. Right um, and you can find my books if you type and I do TBD ons uh, as well, Blind Dyslexic on. So. Yeah, and again, you can find either on YouTube or that Halogen TV. And you can find my books, Joseph J. Capricioso. You can look them up on Amazon, Barnes Noble, or whatever you can find. If you look and you Google, you will find. So, yes. uh, so yeah, we uh, – what else do we have, Scott? We have uh, Twitter, yep. Instagram. Well, I have my, Matrix Lodge, my Instagram and Twitter, and you have your stuff, my right? My Twitter is uh, at Fourth Doctor at The Fourth Doctor. And we're on PlayStation 4. Yeah. I'm Matrix Lord 212. And your remember what yours was, Doctor Four. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> Me, I'm into trophies. I love getting trophies and platinums. All right, so there you have it. You got a little bit of a um, cliff notes about us personally. Uh, so check us out. Investigate. Check out my books. Check out Scott. All right, guys. Hopefully we got some doctor stuff to talk about tomorrow. Real concrete stuff. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.